So this is my walk home from the office today. Um, I'm being <laughs> I'm being greeted very enthusiastically by um, these students. They um, they're enjoying practicing their English um, because Rwanda switched just a month ago to uh, Anglophone from Francophone. So do greetings. Say hello. Fuga. Fuga Kingereza. Chongereza. Yeah. Fuga Fuga Kingereza. You you have Where's you have many many children. <laughs> many children. children. I have no children. Yes. Yes. You have no children. No. So how are you? Fine. Yeah, good. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Thank you. Thank you very much. School. Yeah. School. Where where are you going now? I'm going at home. Nice, very good. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, my tall, goofy white self uh, attracts quite a bit of attention here in Yamata. By the way, Makuru. Um. Yeah, photo. Ikazi wanje. Yeah. Picture. <laughs> so as you can see, there's uh, no shortage of people excited to practice their English with me, and I am equally excited to practice my King of Rwanda, although uh, I think they got me beat. Here we are back at the compound. Anyway. Again, this is my house and uh, every day when I get home from work, I come home, set up my editing. This is a full-time job. Um, the evenings are probably when I work the most. And um, set up my workstation and then I go for a run, which is probably my favorite time of the day and has become for me my Lenten resolution just to run every day and to stop and spend some time in prayer at the top. So as you can see, here's our main room here with some food laid out by Tatier, which is always really nice to be able to come home to that because cooking is quite difficult here. Here's my bedroom. My bed with the mosquito net, which uh, I definitely need. Amir, my roommate, has had malaria twice now. Um, but luckily I am taking preventative pills and using my mosquito net. So, uh, so I'd like to take you along on my run so I can show you Niamata from a different angle. So let's go. This air is thin! Mimini Simba! Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay. So we're halfway up the hill. Um, and I want to show you Nimata as I see it every day in the place where I find God.
The most shocking thing about people living in extreme poverty is that there's nothing shocking about them at all. People living in these conditions are just like you and me. They wake up every morning with goals and go about their day, working with humility and optimism. Their hope and resilience, even in the face of staggering poverty, should inspire us all. It is this very fact, their deep humanity, that makes extreme poverty itself so horrendously shocking. And for me, this is where I get the strength to continue this work and to try my hardest to spread the love of Christ to all of God's beautiful creation. Uh, so this, my friends, is the midpoint of my run, uh, the place where I come to pray every day. So, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm just gonna disappear and let you enjoy the way that I greet the night every evening. Thank you so much and God bless you. Mama, no.